Jordan has GLUT1 DS, which is not enough glucose to the brain through the spinal fluid. Jordan's had it since birth, but we did not actually get the final diagnosis till December of 07. While she's not yet independently walking, she does walk better. She, she's worn the same pair of tennis shoes since we've been here for 30 days, and she has not dug a hole in the toes yet. That is amazing. Um, she doesn't drag her right foot as much when she walks, and she only does it now when she's tired. Um, she walked with a walker, but she had a lot of instability, and she drug her right foot very, very bad, drug the toe and we would go through a pair of shoes in about three weeks. It should have a big hole that you just had to throw them out. Um, like I said, she's had the same pair of shoes on every day this month and there's no hole. Pick up that foot and put it down like we do. You know, she's had more typical in her walk. Um, I would like to think that by the end of summer the walker will be gone. Whether we're using a cane or whatever, I think it will be gone. Oh, her fine motor skills have gotten so much better. And she's, um, I bought a little drawing board when I first got here, and she's actually trying to hold the pen on it correctly now. Um, she colors in the lines for the most part. She never did that before. So her fine motor skills have really improved a lot too. She's able to hold up two fingers now, or three, because we're counting down the days to go home. And she was never, never able to do that before. She's talking more. She's actually putting two words together. She said bathroom, her version of bathroom the other day. And she's never done that before. Her speech, she never said the word home. She says home now. Um, she put the words bathroom together. Her doll is baby ra. She actually says baby ra now. And it's, it's little things, but it's a big leap for us, you know. And I, I just see it improving. She got up the other morning and made her bed without me asking. I was like, who is this child? <laughs> so, she, um, of course, you've got a small room and we've got luggage here, but she tries to put things away and, and straighten her bed and things like that. And um, she's feeding herself better. And, you know, I, I really see, I see nothing but positive. And I just see us growing more and more and more with ability when we go home. I think the thing that really amazes me is her being able to do her fingers because she could never do this. She didn't have control. And yesterday I had her tell the doctors and her daddy, you know, how many days are left and she could hold up three fingers. Well, today on her own, she woke up and I said, how many days are left? And she put up two. Joy's always had the intelligence, she just couldn't get it out, and now she's able to articulate. And that means a lot. It means a lot. The hospital's wonder, the, the staff, the staff, you could ask for better. Um, you really feel like the doctors care. You know the nurses care, and the staff is always always helping you with a problem if you have one and I don't I think the only problem I've had is my calling card didn't work you know so they refunded my money you know it's no big deal they they make you feel it as much at home as you possibly can here physical therapy was tremendous um, Andy and Tina worked with Jordan we figured out real quick that I couldn't stay in there and I'm, I'm thinking that Tina was able to really get a lot out of Jordan you know, um, I was in there this morning and another patient's grandmother was there and she said, she's stronger. And she was Chinese and through an interpreter, I found out she said she was stronger now than she was when she came. So you get to know one another and you watch the patients and you do see them strengthen and improve. So if you have any questions, any doubts, just come. Period. <laughs> what do you have to lose? You have everything to gain and nothing to lose.